Hello and welcome to Fishing Tutorials, the channel dedicated to helping you guys catch more fish when you're out on the bank. This particular video is going to be focused on how to tie a method feeder rig, perfect for catching small to medium sized carp. To tie the method feeder rig you will need the following items. An inline method feeder. Today I'm using a 28 gram model, but they come in a range of other sizes to suit every fishing situation. A swivel, this comes supplied with the Guru inline feeders. Hook length monofilament, this is five pounds, but if the fish are really big, you can step this up to six, eight, or even 10 pounds. A strong hook, this is a size 12. Speed stops and a speed stop needle. Lastly, you'll also need some scissors. Pull the supplied swivel out of the method feeder. Then thread your main line through the feeder and tie it to the swivel. We like to use a half blood knot, but a Palomar or Uni will also suffice. Pull the swivel down until it locates neatly inside the feeder. Now take a length of your five pound monofilament. This will be your hook length. Tie a speed stop onto the end of this line. I like to do this with an overhand loop knot, but a double overhand knot also works. Take your hook of choice and thread the line through the back of the eye. Set your hair length. We are using this length as we'll be hair rigging two bits of corn. Wrap the line around the hook shank, trapping the hair in place. We like to wrap it around approximately seven times. Pass the line back through the eye towards the point this time. Pull this down tight. We like to use a short hook length when method feeder fishing. Around three to five inches worked well for us. Now tie a figure of eight loop knot in the other end of your hook length. If you want help with any of the knots seen in this video, check out the knots playlist on our channel. This loop is then used to attach the hook length to the swivel. Pass the loop through the eye of the swivel and then pass the hook through the loop and tighten it down. This is the finished method feeder rig. This setup is a safe bolt rig, perfect for when you're fishing with two rods. However, to convert this into a running rig for better indication, switch the supplied swivel for a speed bead. This enables you to change hook links quickly and also results in a free running rig. Just mount a bait by pushing the speed stop onto the needle and threading on your bait. Pull the stop off of the needle and you're done. As a hook bait, when fishing the method feeder, you can use anything from corn, boilies, pellets, even maggots in the winter. Uh, it's really up to you what you use as a hook bait. On the actual feeder, well, of course, there's traditional method mix style ground bait, which works fine. Uh, in the summer months, when the fish really want a little bit more food and you want to try and hold them in your peg with some sustenance, then micro pellets can be a great option too. Just wet down some micro pellets and squeeze them on. Also, another alternative that we've seen other people use and also we have caught on ourselves is breadcrumb. Liquidize some bread, uh, put it through a, a food processor, make it into crumb and that can work really well, especially when you're kind of doing that one one cast, one bite style fishing, trying to locate where they are around the lake. It's not so good for building up a big bed of bait on the bottom. I find the white, bright white uh, patch of bait seems to spook them a little bit, but if it's just one off casts, dotting it around, trying to locate where the fish are in your swim, then a, mm, a small uh, method feeder full of uh, breadcrumb can work really, really well. Like I say, quite popular in the winter months. I hope this video has helped you with your method feeder fishing. For loads more uh, helpful fishing content, check out our channel and don't forget to subscribe. See ya.